right, in the Nameless Bookstore, that's right. I have not played this game in about a month and a half. Uh, Pierce traced the trail of an attempted burglary. He discovered that Charles Hawkins was behind the attempt. Pierce opened the bookseller's safe to find the letter uh, and Sarah Hawkins had hidden in there. Uh, a book covered in human skin. That's right, we found the Necronomicon. I mean, what? We don't know that yet. When he opened it, his mind was projected into another body. And we're going to deal with uh, slow loading times, huh? You can do it. God, it has been a, quite a while since I've played this. Going to be honest, I don't quite remember everything. But we'll see how we go. There we go. Alright, chapter 8. Let's go. Riverside Institute. Let's go. Another body. Come on. Loading thingy. I honestly don't remember. Here we go. All right, here we go. Dr. Colden, this man's condition is deteriorating. What says Dr. Fuller? It's his patient, after all. He... He's busy with Captain Fitzroy. He specifically asked us not to bother him when that's the case. Oh, of course. I'll see what I can do. Mr. Blake, can you hear me? I'm Dr. Colden. We'll take care of you. There's nothing we can do. I tried talking to him. He's catatonic. Did you inject him with a tranquilizer? No, doctor. Not me, not anyone. Our stock is empty, yet again. Again? But there was enough for the whole island. More and more people are suffering from insomnia. We can't refuse to help. Of course. Any idea what this man might be undergoing? Let's examine the patient. Very well. I'll examine him. Looks like a female. Early teens. Um, Alright, we'll check the ear first. That's pretty important, huh? Uh, I've completely forgotten how this game works. Aha! 30-year-old subject. Severe hypothermia. Erythematous papules around the eyes and eardrums. Necrosed palubral tissue. Lord, this smell. His skin shows abnormal loss of color and seems dried out. He's totally dehydrated. His fingertips and toes seem to feature a slight ring under the skin. Tender at the touch. Slightly sticky. Slightly sticky. <laughs> Oh. Severe malnutrition. Swollen abdomen with traces of petechia. Oh. Doesn't seem like an edema. Slight protuberances seem to indicate the presence of a foreign body. I'm sorry. So, doctor, an opinion? I'm not sure I have the necessary knowledge to treat this man. Don't say that. You're our most worthy doctor after Dr. Fuller. Some of his symptoms are beyond my comprehension. What did you find? He has something in his belly. His state of his limbs are worrisome. He's severely dehydrated. Let's get something out of his belly, let's did be honest. Did you examine his abdomen? It would seem there's something inside. He hasn't eaten in days. Are you certain it's not an edema? No. Can't you recognize an edema? Pushing with your finger won't leave a trace. And look at these bumps. <laughs> it's not like he could be pregnant. How dare you, it's 28. Whatever it is, this man has something inside him that shouldn't be there. We should operate on him at once. Dr. Fuller said not to worry, that the edema would go away by itself. You know, I'm not sure Dr. Fuller is telling the truth. 
The state of his limbs is worrisome. In spite of the muscle contractions, his arms seem limp. Yes. They can't have decalcified, not at this rate. And yet, if there is a bone in this arm, it's softer than that of a newborn baby. What about his cranium? It's soft at the touch. It does seem like the skull of a baby. What the fuck is Look up with this guy? Look at these sticky rings growing at his fingertips. What can be happening? Oh no, he's got I'm sticky sure rings. He's turning into an octopus man. You have to. Captain Fritz is triggered. <laughs> I see signs of hypodermoclysis, but he's still dehydrated. When was his last IV? He's constantly under perfusion. I've even gone beyond the recommended dose to no avail. And you won't believe me, but... When we bathed him earlier... He seemed to feel better? Yes. Like he needs an aquarium, not a perfusion. But that doesn't explain his condition. I almost don't believe it myself, but these symptoms are not those usually associated with the human species. <sighs> what do you mean? Don't tell me you believe in extraterrestrials. No. This poor man is from our world, all right. But his body is undergoing unnatural mutations. And this transformation is killing him. His body simply can't cope. Where could he have gotten such an infection? I pray that it's not here. Dr. Cowden, may I know what you're doing to my patient? What I'm doing? How about what you've done to him? Let us calm down, my dear Marie. I don't appreciate your tone, nor your insinuations. I've done to him what I do to all my patients. Provide him with the best available care. Your imagination is without limit. It's your homemade drug again, is it not? Those people are not your guinea pigs. There, there. What have you seen to put you in such a state? Um, all right, I don't want to annoy this guy. He kind of looks like the serial killer type. I've never seen anything like this. His limbs? His body temperature? I don't know what experiments you've undertaken, but this is going too far. Oh, I sense some excitement beneath your indignation. Could it be you wish to join me in my scientific endeavors? You are a brilliant physician, Dr. Fuller, but this man... This man has the attributes of some kind of animal. Fascinating. An animal, you say? Could you be more precise? Cephalopod, perhaps? <sighs> this amuses you. Your reaction does. I know your thirst for knowledge, Doctor. It's your innocent worries for this man that have you overreacting. For this man and the others whose medical files you've been hiding. I have to protect my discovery. These people owe me their life, but the world isn't ready yet. It will be, in time. What the fuck is up I with his mouth? I will not let you do this. You disappoint me, Marie, but I still have hope you'll one day share my point of view. In the meantime, take care of your own patients and try not to forget who you're dealing with. Jeez, what a, a fucking threat? creep. What did he mean? It was a warning. Dr. Fuller is this institution's founder and one of our profession's most influential voices. My word is of no weight against his. If I continue to protest, I will only ruin my reputation and career. It's scandalous. Can't we do anything? Is there no evidence of his crimes? Uh, God, is it illegal to hide files? No, I don't. I mean, it's 1920, so. I disapprove of Fuller's methods, but his treatments have saved more lives than I can count. And Mr. Blake? You said yourself he was dying. I don't know what to think for now. What I'm sure of is that Fuller is hiding something from us. And I need to know what that is before I take a chance exposing him. And where would you find those? In his office? What if you get caught? I'd rather not think about that. I'm counting on your discretion. Of course, Doctor. You can count on me. I'll keep Mum. 
Oh, jeez. Okay, another stealthy bit. Oh, what's that? An unknown medicine. Judging by the other ones, it causes heavy side effects. So I should take it and look into it, right? Okay. I don't know where Fuller's office is. No, you're offices. pulling my leg. I'm not joking. I saw the schedule. She's alone in the bathroom again. And she still says nothing to that old witch, Donovan. Oh, listen to the way you talk, you naughty girl. <laughs> and the answer is no. You can imagine that she doesn't dare say a thing. That silly goose lets herself be trodden on. Story oh, well, dream. at least we won't have to clean for a while. And just wait and see the next What's this? Medicine and secret science? Hmm. It's time the water's cut off. It's a real show. But watch out for the water, Doctor. Oh, thanks, buddy. Kitchen, block B. Where's Fuller's office? <clears throat> Exit. Hey. I know you. Ethan. Marie, I... What are you doing here? I'm waiting for my medication, of course. Why? You're not here for treatment, right? Am I so obvious? <laughs> Only to me. I know you worry about me. I trust you. I'm happy to see you. Me too, Ethan. Is that all? Well, there might be something else. I'm not sure. Tell me. I have nightmares. They keep me awake every night. It seems stupid, I know, but they're terrible. Actually, you're not the only one. This guy's wearing no. eyeliner. No one has ever seen the things I see. It's like I'm turning mad. So many people have this affliction. It's like an epidemic. Do you think it might be related to Fuller's work? I don't know yet, but I will figure all this out. Everyone in Darkwater is suffering from nightmares. Really? We don't have any medication left. Oh. There's no excuse, then. I should let you work. Take care, Ethan. You too, Marie. Alright, where is Fuller's office? Storage room. Storage room. Surgical ward. Administration. Boiler room. Weird patient with grubby feet. Pharmacy. Bathroom. Okay, we've totally just taken a turn. Locker room. Where is this guy's, uh... The doses prescribed by Fuller are far too high. Hmm. It's a clue. 